All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. That was Pastor Mike Jr. with I Got It. This is your man, DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. It is January 29th, 2021. And welcome to all the YouTubers out there, all my subscribers and listeners out there. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like icon, thumbs up. And there's a subscribe button right below it. The red subscribe button. And there's going to be a bell icon that pops up when you hit that button. Hit all the, get all the videos that we do post in the near future. So, um, I want to say that, um, uh, before I get started, that, um, People are taking this coronavirus for granted and not seriously. And it's coming back to bite a lot of people in the butt. So make sure you wear your mask out there. Mask up so we can end this. I'm so sick of this daggone virus. And you can't get your vaccine. I feel for you. Just be patient. It will come if you are one of those who actually want the vaccine because your man DJ TJ is not getting it anytime soon okay so just be patient and here is what is in your news I'm going to freestyle for just a little bit because I don't want to go off for the normal headlines but this is what's going on so far we just lost a legend in Cicely Tyson. She was 94, I believe. And that woman made a big impression on me with Miss Jane Pittman, and among other movies that she did. And she would be truly missed. She was definitely something to follow behind or look up to. When it came to acting, and she will be definitely missed by a lot of celebrities out there, especially Tyler Perry, amongst others. And um, she achieved the highest of highest in achievements in awards. And um, I'm sure she is in a better place right now. Which is awesome. We also lost a baseball legend, Hank Aaron. And um, there was one other one. I can't remember who it was. But it will come to me later. But we are losing a lot of our wonderful, wonderful stars with... Black history being next month, that's really hard to swallow because these are legends that should be honored and get their flowers while they are alive. And many of them have, but most haven't. So keep that in mind. Okay, here's what's in your news. I went a little personal, but oh well. Uh, let's see. Donald Trump vows to start his own political party down in Mar-a-Lago. He had a couple different meetings with some congressmen and women. <clears throat> and uh, Nancy Pelosi vows to make sure that he is convicted. But it's been said that there would not be enough votes to convict him. I don't know. I really don't care. Next week, they plan to start the process for budget reconciliation because the Republicans do not plan to be on board with the $1.9 trillion budget plan that Biden has brought forth. And, um, the Democrats who run the House and the Senate vow to 
act fast and make sure everything is done correctly and get on his desk to be signed as soon as possible. Other than that, let's see, what else? There are schools that are going to be reopening. I believe on February 1st, there's a lot of churches that's reopening amongst other businesses. Um, our governor, Governor Gretchen Whitmer, just gave her State of the State address. And um, she's gotten good reviews on that. Um, let's see what else can I think of off the top of my head. Um... Maybe something come to me later. But Michigan is topping the coronavirus cases right now. They just topped uh, 557,000 cases. And um, Just one of those things. We were doing very well. And, um, I hope to see that number go down. Jim Jordan of Ohio will not run for the open Senate seat. And, um, there's a lot of different senators that are not running again for senate seats and recently Rob Portman's seat was released so someone's going to have to run for that seat I don't know why they thought Jim Jordan was going to seek Portman's seat but apparently he doesn't want it and if you are an executive or you're rich, you are now getting the vaccine really early compared to a lot of senior citizens over 65 who are in line to receive that. There's a lot of states that are running out of vaccines and have shortages and people are still waiting in line and can't get appointments and all this kind of stuff. But vaccines are a big topic right now amongst other things. And there were bombs planted, pipe bombs placed at the RNC and DNC night before the Capitol riot, which happened on January 6th. FBI will increase the reward to $100,000 for a person that was seen planting these bombs and had a suitcase with him. But that is not a surprise to me. Not at all. There was a lot going on that day before. Jerry Garcia, hi. San Francisco considers naming a school after the Grateful Dead front man and it has not been determined whether or not that will happen also considered was Barack Obama Mary Maya Angelou Kamala Harris also considered for the namesake of that school at San Francisco High School but uh, there's a lot of names on that list. 11 soldiers have gotten ill at Fort Bliss in Texas after ingesting an unknown substance. Wow. There are people in this country that are trying to really destroy us, but during training after possibly drinking antifreeze these 11 got sick 
They didn't know what it was they consumed. Some say antifreeze. An investigation is now taking place. And, uh, well. Anthony Hopkins just received his COVID-19 vaccine. After a year of self imposed quarantine, I don't blame him. That's a very smart man. He's not a young man anymore, he's now 83. Anthony Hopkins. All right. Harriet Tubman is now still in reconsideration for her face being on the $20 bill. And the Biden administration is reviving the plans to do so. Which is awesome. Just in time for Black History Month. Brian Williams had Twitter at hello with this wrong clip of the Trump McCarthy meeting that they had in Mar a Lago. <laughs> Made it seem like he was recreating a scene from Jerry Maguire and said, You complete me. <laughs> Okay. Amen. All righty, ready. Let's see. Um, looking at the University of Wisconsin slash Madison Police the Chief is banning the thin blue line imaginary imagery while on duty the symbol is considered a sign of police solidarity but also associated with white supremacy a thin blue line. I think in anything, especially the U.S. flag, is an insult to a lot of Americans. So good for him. He banned. He banned the blue line. I'm sorry. She banned banned the blue line. Police Chief Christian Romaine or Roman. For her, former Boy Scouts chaplain is sentenced to 40 years in prison for his role in sexual abuse with the Boy Scouts. James Glosson, who is 76, sexually assaulted six young men, including one who is developmentally. Disabled. <laughs> there are two new vaccines that are expected to be released real soon if they get approval. Well, they are Novavax and Johnson and Johnson. And there are questions whether or not they will work against the new variants from the UK and. South Africa. Johnson Johnson is, I believe, 72% effective. And Novavax, I have no idea. Their effective rate is the Novavax vaccine is 89% effective in the UK trial. 
but less so in South Africa. Wow. So they answered that question. And let's see, a few more. And we will call this a night. Hmm. Dr. Fauci sees vaccination for kids by late spring or summer. There are currently trials on the way for children. Awesome. They are getting hit hard by sickness. And let's see. Oh, here we go. Johnson & Johnson, I was wrong. It was not 72%. It was 66%. But they are a single-shot vaccine that prevents the illness. Ugh. And some of their vaccine... I don't know which is true. Is it 66 or is it this? Johnson & Johnson finds COVID-19 vaccine 85% effective against severe cases. I don't know why they said 66. But the CDC reports community spread of South African variant. Johnson & Johnson single shot is found to be effective against this variant. Well, uh, just a few more. Let's see. There is the Democrats are going to act big on the $1.9 trillion aid. The GOP wants to split the plan up into bits and pieces and President Biden is against doing so. Well. So they will end up going forward with rec- reconciliation next week. But talks do continue. All right. What else? There's an ancient cloth with Bi- well, the Bible's purple dye found in Israel, dated to King David's era. Wow. This is called the Tyrian purple. Also known as Phoenician red, Phoenician purple, royal purple, imperial purple, or imperial dye. Refers to Tatir Lebanon. Wow. Also found on snails, sea snails, predatory sea snails. Well, back to the Bible days, amen. All right, I think that's gonna do it for me. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. Also, hit the bell icon to get further videos. We now will bring you the song of the day. If I forgot anything, I will be back and let you know. But please enjoy this song. This is your man, DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. It is January 29th, 2020.
2021. We will be right back.